Hi, welcome to another edition of Transcribing with the Music Transcriber. Today we'll be looking at a plugin called Import or Export Layout, which is for Sibelius 5 through 7. Um, it allows you to export the layout from one score and import it into uh, another score. It's incredibly helpful for um, people working in teams or working remotely with a publisher. Uh, so let's jump right into it and show how you can import um, from import and export from the full score, which is the simplest application of this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look at my quick start here. I have a score called test1 and test2. Now they have the same content, but the layout are different. Um, so go ahead and open your first score, the one that you want the layout from. Execute your um, plugin, and this is the dialog that's going to pop up. Uh, let me zoom in there a little bit, maybe granulated because uh, I'm zoomed in. But essentially there are um, two main options to either export the layout or to import the layout. We want to export the layout and you can do it directly to another score if you have that other score. But you may not always have that other score. Like I said, you may be working in a team and you just need to send the layout file. Um, in, this, in that case, you would choose to export this layout to a layout file. I'm going to go ahead and do that because that's the more advanced functionality that most people have a problem with. Uh, so let's click OK now. And we have to name uh, our layout file something. Uh, you cannot use true. That's just so you know that uh, the plugin has <coughs> properly saved the information and now wants to write it to a text file. Uh, so let's name it test1 layout. So that's what it was. And it's important that you use a .txt extension. Uh, it's noted up here in the top of the, um, the operating system dialog. But uh, just be aware. Some people miss that. And save it somewhere. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Uh, you could just saw it had some progress while it wrote. Um, and now I can close this score. And I can open my second score. Run the plugin again, and this time in the dialog, you want to go to Import Layout and from a layout file. That's simple. Click OK. Find that layout file you saved, and there you go. It's the same layout now uh, as the first score, even if the content is different. All that matters is there's the same number of bars and the same number of stabs, although the same number of stabs is not actually required. Um, which is great because you could be uh, going to different versions of it. Uh, I'm not sure of the usage, but um, the possibility is there. Now, the more difficult thing is to do parts, but uh, it's pretty much the same logic. I'm going to go back to my original test score, and um, I'm going to open a part. <clears throat> That's the first step. You need to open the part you want to export the layout from. Um, you know, I can hide my logo here. You guys probably getting sick of that. Um, so I've gone to the flute part now. I'm going to run my plugin. I'm going to do the same exact steps. The only difference was that I was in the part. And I want to export this to a layout file. Um, and for parts, you need to do it to a layout file because you have to actually go into that other score and open up the part. Um, so we're going to call this flute, test one flute. Okay, and once again, you need a .txt extension. It's very important. Um, it writes that, and I can close this. Okay, uh, I don't need to save the changes. I just wanted its layout. Now I'm going to open up test score two, uh, score test two. I'm going to go to the flute part, um, and you can see it's very different. Once again, I'll hide that for you guys. <laughs> uh, and the layout is obviously has some problems and it's different in general. Uh, so I'm going to run my plugin and import that layout from the layout file. Find that layout file. And there you go. It's the same layout. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to write me. Um, my email is musictranscriber at themusictranscriber.com um, and that's the website as well, themusictranscriber.com. Feel free to let me know your comments on this plugin, any plugins you'd like to see, and I hope you've enjoyed.